Hey everybody, it's your illustration and toy design friend Faye Wren, and I'm here with another video where we're gonna draw my new business card. And you can already see I can't make up my mind half the time. Uh, the first like couple minutes is me trying to figure out like what I want to do with the characters, what kind of pose I want to do. I thumbnailed so many things in my little sketchbook and when I finally decided on something I went on Pinterest and I saw something else I liked so I was like that'll fit the theme real well so I wanted a picture of my main persona holding the moon because I'm trying to shift into like a little bit of a moon theme and like the backstory between all of these characters uh revolves around the moon so um yeah that's my favorite. I love them. They're my little blorbos. But yeah, it's a little bit of an iPad drawing and I had to extend it out because it, it, it like compresses it into like the speed of like light. Uh, and it's and now it's 10 minutes. So I have more time to talk because I couldn't talk within like three minutes. So we're going to talk about the Owl House finale because I can't stop thinking about it and can't stop thinking about how uh, correct I was. Um, <laughs> in my last video, I kind of, like, theorized a little bit. I was like, ooh, this is what I think is gonna happen in the season finale. Um, and some of the things I was right about, some of the things I was, like, wrong, but I was also, like, kind of, I was basing my theories off of, like, what other people have said, but I was like, meh. But I also said, like, really vague stuff where I was like, if it was wrong, it was wrong. But if it's right, oh, it's in the, it was in the realm of possibility. Um, and I, I cried. I cried so much. <laughs> Let me know what you guys did in the comments below. Because I cried and I cried into my moon cakes. Or they were, like, chiffon moon cakes. But they weren't, like, moon cakes. Moon cakes, they were, like, they were shaped like the moon. So, um... Yeah, I I literally bawled my little my little eyes out and I I just loved how open ended it was. Um, I was watching the end with my boyfriend and uh, at first he was like kind of mad about it, um, and then like after like sleeping on it he was just like you know I kind of like how it ended because it like left it open if they ever wanted to pick it back up and. In interviews, Dana Terrace talked about how she wanted to, in the future, work on the Owl House and like explore more of the world in like a comic series. So that definitely like helped. And even I don't honestly, if it's IDW or Disney Channel or whatever, I don't really care who publishes it or who makes it. It doesn't have to be an animated series for me. But oh, I lost my train of thought so fast. But yeah, the ID, if it was either IDW comments, comics, publisher, it was them, the people who made DuckTales comic books because they kept going after the show ended or like even during the show, they kept like, the ending of the Owl House kind of like helps leave it more like, they could do like isolated adventures. It doesn't have to tell a story. It doesn't have to continue like anything. If anything, that that show ending is what would have been in made it in the direction of what Disney Channel would have wanted, but it's more it's more focused on like adults because they're in college. Like kids don't want to watch older kids in college for some reason. I don't know. I would have loved to watch kids in college as opposed to like a bunch of kids in high school all the time. But it really helps with it. And yeah, so I hope we do see some more stuff um, based around the Owl House. As you can see, I didn't talk about anything. <laughs> I didn't talk about any spoilers. I was just like, yeah, the end, yeah. But like, I'm not gonna really talk about the things I was right about because it's only been like a couple days since the Owl House finale just came out, but I'm really excited. I do plan on making a lot, a lot of merch based off of the Owl House for Anime Next and when I finally reopened my shop on coffee. Um, and I'm very excited because there was a lot of cool designs that came out and I do have a lot of plans in the works. I can't talk about it too much, but 
I'm very excited for what I have in store for you guys. I have been wanting to do a little series that is character based and I get to dress up and make stuff and props and I'm very excited. I don't exactly have a place in mind of where I can do it, but hopefully, oh, praise the Lord that I get an apartment this summer and you know, I'll have a more permanent place where I can actually do my work out of and yeah also I'm gonna be an anime next um that is in somewhere in New Jersey it's North Jersey um I don't exactly remember I'll put the where it is up there but yeah but uh, I can't wait to have some fan content for you guys and some original content um I don't think I'll be doing animatics um, because those are very time consuming and they're very exhausting of my emotional and my mental state. So I do like little clips. I do like little TikToks length and they're pretty easy to get uploaded every day, honestly. And people have been liking that. I'm very excited to share that with you guys. Um, and yeah, I plan on ordering a bunch of these as, um, business cards for this art and if you want to learn more about the story between all three of these characters I can do a video about that explaining you know my lore um I am a illustrator by heart and a storyteller but I cannot do comics for my life <laughs> but I'm very excited to tell a story on this channel and Hopefully you guys are here to join the story too. But yeah, um, basically I'm very happy with the way the Owl House ended and I can't wait to see what comes out of it. Maybe Disney will be eating their hat thinking that they were fools for canceling the Owl House, but I also don't think it would have been as popular if we got what we wanted from the get-go. We had a lot of like tenacity to like, oh, we're gonna break record numbers to prove a point, basically, that they're giving getting rid of a good thing. But yeah, I'm glad everything happened. I'm glad it was created. I'm sad that it ended. And I am ready for the future. Um, the Owl House did a lot for me, and I know it did a lot for a lot of other people too. It's my comfort show. And it was the one series where I felt, like, seen. Um, and it makes me happy to... It makes me happy to know that, you know, there are people who want to tell stories of marginalized communities. And it gets as popular and it gets as seen and it helps a lot of people out. And I'm very grateful for seeing that one little image that the promo image art for the Owl House back in like 2020, 2019. I'm very excited and it makes me happy. And yeah, and if Dennis Harris ever saw this, uh, I just want to thank you for everything. Um, thank you for finding me. And thanks to all you guys too. Um, yeah. Thanks so much for watching. I hope to see you next week. Bye!